haven't really started growing season yet, so it's a problem, no question about it. Uh, if you've got plans to be outside here this evening, it's warm and it's dry, so I got to say it's a rainy factor of seven, but there are some negative things, the pollen, the air quality, some issues there. So far today, 87 the high. That's only four from the record high for this date. And 57 degrees this morning's low temperature. That is quite mild as well. No precipitation. We are nearing an inch below average moisture month to date and half an inch below average moisture year to date. And the tree pollen count sky high 710 is the count. One of the highest tree pollen counts I've ever seen. Julie got up this morning. She said, man, I can feel it already. Uh, that's a problem. Cottonwood and juniper pollen. No grass, no weed pollen, air quality. So, so it's in the medium or moderate range. It's always a great day at the Henry Dorley Zoo. Beautiful sunny skies. It's warm, but you can go inside the indoor exhibits and cool off if you have to. South breeze 18 miles an hour. 86 Millard, Springfield, Bennington, Blair, 87 Fremont, 88 Lincoln, 91 to Kema and Norfolk. And there's that wind south 18 to 20 gusting 30 to 35 and we're seeing that gust to 43 miles an hour in Nebraska City right now. No rain, Super Doppler 7 radar, no clouds across the Midwest. It is dry and it is warm. There is some rain along the Gulf Coast. That's about it around the country. West Coast system as it moves eastward could bring some severe weather on Friday, especially across Kansas and Oklahoma, a slight risk of severe storms, but even some of southeast Nebraska, a marginal risk or a one out of five possibility of severe weather. There's storm predictor for this evening. Mostly clear skies. The breeze continues out of the south. Not much changes into Thursday. Front stalled off to the north of us. Strong south winds, mostly sunny skies. Friday, things do change. That west coast system starts heading our way. And during the day, south winds will blow right along the front. Perhaps by 430, we'll see a few showers and thunderstorms start to form and especially into the evening and a huge cool down is coming as we head into Saturday. 57 tonight's low tomorrow, much like today, mostly sunny, windy and very warm as temperatures top out in the mid and upper 80s late day. Still really warm on Friday, but the evening there's that chance of showers and thunderstorms and look at Saturday high temperature 53 with showers around in the morning and then a couple days with low temperatures into the 30s on Sunday and Monday. So we're not really jumping fully into summer just yet. Getting kind of close to that freezing line. Yeah, I mean, we could have some frost around and uh, right. it's certainly possible we could get a 